Hello. It's been some time walking here in the January sun. Uh, I was busy with, uh, and still am, with some family matters, like this family matter right here, and uh, and some other projects. So I haven't made a lot of videos, but I thought, hey, let me let me try to maybe make a video about s s a question that I was asking myself. And now I think I might have some part of the answer, so let me just share that with you. So my question was, how did I become so comfortable with programming? Because I was not destined at all to be a programmer. Uh, I studied econometrics, I even have a PhD in economics, and I'm not doing any economics at all, like at all anymore. So uh, I'm doing, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, I'm doing statistics, data science, some data engineering, whatever, any type of data related thing, I'm doing that. But not economics anymore, not really. And so I was thinking, how come, how come I, I, I become so comfortable with programming? Because I'm not like, I'm not like a super programmer, very, very far away from that. Uh, I'm really not an expert. But that being said, and in all modesty, if I compare to other people I know that also did, for example, uh, some that also studied economics or other social sciences, uh, basically people who did not study computer science, still, still, I think I am above average. Like I am, think I am more comfortable with some programming concepts and programming in general than, let's say, the average person who studied economics. Uh, so how come? I think. It all boils down to one habit that I formed. Uh, and um, that habit is... I always tried to solve the more general problem than the one that I was facing. So basically, if I had, for example, an Excel file with five sheets. Each of these sheets had data for one particular year, right? So I would never just say, okay, you know what, I'm going to write one script and then I'm going to copy and paste that five times because I just have five sheets, I'll do it, I'll get done with it, and that's it, you know, I don't care. I just want my results, I just want my graphs, my tables, whatever. I'll just copy and paste my script five times, I'll just change the cheat name, and that's it. Never did that. I always, always ask myself, okay, now I only have five sheets, one per year. But what if I had 52 sheets per year, so weekly data, for example? What if I had an Excel file with 250 sheets, right? How would I solve that? Because obviously I wouldn't copy and paste my script 250 times. So that's the habit I formed. I always try to solve the more general problem. So I would write my script and then I would loop over it, etc. Then this got me start. This got me thinking about functions, about loops, about so all this kind of computer science concepts that are very basic. But, you know, if you don't study them, if it's not really in your curriculum, you never really think about it. And I remember one particular instance of a colleague that was also doing, uh, he's working on his PhD, and he did exactly that. He was copy and pasting a function. I mean, it wasn't a function, it was five or six lines of code that were doing something. And he copied and pasted that like literally a hundred times. And uh, it took very, very long to, to run. And every time he had to change something, he had to change it everywhere, which was horrible. So uh, he asked me for help. And I told him, well, you should put that into a function and then just call the function how many times you need. And he told me that he wasn't really comfortable doing that because he wasn't really comfortable doing functions. So I helped him out. And it turns out that the code ran much faster because in R, functions get so they get you get just in time compiled. Uh, so it runs much faster uh, if you define your loop or your uh, instructions inside a function than calling them x times. And uh, and that was just one example of uh, of how developing this ha habit uh, helped me, or in this case, helped my my colleague. And I think it all boils down to that. I always tried to look at the more general problem and try to solve the more general problem than the particular problem I was facing. 
And so by developing these habits, it uh, naturally led me to reading, reading books about, uh, you know, func functional programming, but not, not only that, and uh, also how to, yeah, how to optimize one's code, how to avoid repeating oneself. This is basically my mantra, don't repeat yourself. So yeah, so that's basically the habit I formed. And so, yeah, want to know what you guys think about that. And so let's see, maybe I'll start making some videos again soon.